A team of planet hunters led by astronomers at the University of California in Santa Cruz and the Carnegie Institution of Washington has announced the discovery of a planet orbiting a nearby star, Gliese 581, at a distance that places it squarely in the middle of the star's habitable zone. This would be the most Earth-like exoplanet and the first truly habitable one yet discovered. The research was supported by grants from NASA and the National Science Foundation. Images show planetary orbits of the Gliese 581 system compared to those of our own solar system. The Gliese 581 star has about 30 percent the mass of our sun, and the outermost planet is closer to its star than we are to the sun. The fourth planet, G, is a planet that could sustain life. The Goldilocks zone is the range of orbits around any star where it's neither too hot nor too cold, but just right for liquid water to exist on the surface. And that's a key ingredient for uh, the existence of life. Gliese 581g has an orbit of just about 37 days around the, uh, around the star. And when you listen to that, you think, wow, that must be way too close to the star to, for there to be life, because that, that's pretty darn, that's, that's a short orbit. So this is shorter than the orbit of Mercury around our own sun. Must be terribly hot. Actually, that's not the case, because Gliese 581, like I said, a red dwarf star, much cooler than our sun, emits much less radiation. So in fact, those planets need to snuggle up a lot closer to that star in order to get the warmth. So, in fact, the habitable zone around Gliese 581 is much closer to the star than in our own solar system. We don't know if it's a rocky planet. In fact, that's interesting. We haven't determined the density because you need yet another measurement. However, if everything fit or, or remains as expected, the effective temperature of this uh, determined because of the dynamics, right, the, because of the orbit, and how uh, hot is the central star, the temperature for uh, this, uh, or the affected temperature of this, on the surface of this object, if it were a rocket, uh, allow for, for water to, to remain as such. And so we, we have hoped that there is a possibility of finding uh, like a water world there.